focusing on you. Innovations in modern medicine from your team of experts at UHealth, the University of Miami Health System. Rene Montiagudo got the shock of his life during an annual physical back in 2009. It was revealed that I had a congenital heart defect. He needed surgery to replace a failing heart valve and went to see UHealth cardiothoracic surgeon Dr. Joseph Lamellis, who pioneered a minimally invasive heart procedure. The minimally invasive operations, whether it's a primary or a reoperative procedure, they're all done through a five centimeter incision on the right lateral aspect of the chest. Why would someone need reoperative minimally invasive cardiac surgery? So when the valves degenerate or when they wear out, that's when the patient would require a reoperative procedure. And performing the operation through a minimally invasive approach has many benefits. Patient Kelly Haskins experienced those benefits when she needed heart valve replacement again after undergoing open heart surgery back in 2016. The difference between the open heart surgery through the sternum and the Miami method used by Dr. Joseph Lamalis is like night and day. Instead of being in the hospital for weeks, she was out in four days. 19 days post-surgery, Kelly says her recovery has been amazing. I'm up out of bed. I, I'm up out of my chair. I'm, I'm up and feeling good. Last November, 10 years after his first surgery, Renee's heart valve got infected. Every time I would lay down, I would just get out of breath. Instead of open heart surgery, where the sternum is cracked to access the heart, Dr. Lamellis was able to perform the reoperative, minimally invasive procedure on Renee to replace the infected valve. The, the risk of bleeding is a lot less. The risk of infection is a lot less. And the overall recovery is remarkable. Rene is now back to feeling like himself again. I owe my life to him and to his team. They're phenomenal.